In the example on uh, page 3, for this function we're asked to find all points of inflection, local minimum and maximum points, and where the graph is concave up or concave down. So the first thing we need to take, do is take our function and differentiate. The derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared, the derivative of negative 9x squared is minus 18x, and the derivative of negative 12x is negative 12. And so we set that equal to 0, we're now trying to find the, where the critical points are. And notice that everything here divides evenly by 6. So let's divide this by 6, and that's the quadratic uh, equation we have to solve. Now you could use the quadratic formula, but it does factor fairly easily as well. Factors into x minus 2 and 2x plus 1. If you want to see how to do that factoring, uh, uh, check out one of my other lessons on uh, solving quadratic equations by factoring. So we set each of those factors to 0. If we set x minus 2 to 0, we'll get 2. If we set uh, 2x plus 1 to 0, we'll get negative a half. Bring the 1 over, divide by 2, you get negative a half. So those are x coordinates of our critical points. So I'll put the negative a half and the 2 on my number line. Notice the scale here is a half. So that's negative a half, 0, a half, 1, 1 and a half, or 1.5, and 2. So those are our critical points. And we'll use the second derivative test to figure out which is a local min, which is local max. So we need the second derivative now. Differentiating the first derivative, we get uh, 24x minus 18 for the second derivative. And we will set it equal to 0. And that will give us where the possible point of inflection might be. So if we solve for x here, we'll bring the 18 over and divide it to 24. So x is actually 18 24 which reduces to 3 quarters, or 0.75. So that's a possible point of inflection. So we'll put the 3 quarters on the number line here. So that's about where 3 quarters is. And what I want to do now is check for my concavity. I want to find the value of the second derivative to the right of it and to the left of it. Now, notice that we have a critical point to the right and the left, so those are good places to check um, to see the value of the second derivative, and then the concavity tells you which is a min and which is a max, just like I discussed in the previous page. So I'm going to find the second derivative at 2. So we'll put 2 in place of uh, x in the second derivative. That's 48 minus 18 is 30. So the second derivative at 2 is 30. And it doesn't matter that it's 30. The fact that it's positive is what's important. So the fact that it's greater than 0 means that the graph is concave up there. Okay, Greater than 0, second derivative, graph's concave up. So over here, the graph is concave up to the right of 3 quarters, or where x is greater than 3 quarters. And now we'll check at negative a half. And you could check any number below 3 quarters, but uh, I'm going to use the negative a half because it's one of my critical points. So I'll put negative a half in place of uh, x in my second derivative. And so that's actually negative 12 minus 18 is negative 30. And of course, the, the 30 part doesn't matter. The fact that it's negative is what's important. It's less than 0. And so that tells us that the graph is concave down there. So concave down over here. And of course, the interval is to the left of 3 quarters, so where x is less than 3 quarters. So uh, the graph is uh, concave down here. So this the graph goes like this. So this has to be a, a local maximum point. The graph is concave up here, so that 2 would has to be a local minimum point. And we'll find the, um, we're asked to find all uh, points here, so we need the function values or y coordinates of all of these points. So I'll substitute the 2 in place of x in my original function, it gives me negative 22. And I'll do the negative of half as well. Putting negative of half in the original function gives me 9.25. So that means there's a local maximum point here at negative of half, so that's negative of half, 9.25. And we also have a local minimum point at uh, 2 comma negative 22. That's local minimum point. And uh, let's find the y coordinate for our point of inflection, the place where concavity has changed. And so putting the 3 quarters in the original function, we get negative 6.375. So that's the y value that goes to 3 quarters. So that's our point of inflection. A point of inflection exists at 3 quarters or 0.75 comma negative 6.375. So that's our point of inflection. One last example, example 2, it says sketch a graph of a function with the following characteristics. The uh, second derivative is greater than 0 where x is less than negative 1. And uh, the second derivative is less than 0 where x is greater than negative 1. Now we're told that f of 0 is 3, so that's a point in the graph, and you saw that point perhaps bounce in just a moment ago, so that locates a point on the graph. 
f prime of negative 2 is 0. Remember where the first derivative is 0, that means there's a horizontal tangent line. So uh, a possible um, uh, minima or maximum for each of these, uh, also where x is 3.5. Now, where the second derivative is greater than 0, remember that's a place where the graph is concave up. So it's concave up to the uh, left of negative 1, and it has a second derivative which is negative uh, to the right of negative 1. So it's concave down there. So it goes from concave up to the left of negative 1 to concave down on the, on the uh, where x is greater than negative 1. Now, since this point right here, negative 2, is where x is less than negative 1, that means that where uh, x is negative 2, the graph is concave up. So if we have a critical point where the graph is concave up, that means there has to be a local minimum point here. 3.5 is on the interval where x is greater than negative 1, and it's concave down there. So concave down means it's going like this, so this has to be a local maximum point. And we're not really told specifically where those are, but again, the graph goes from concave up over here to concave down over here. We have this minimum point at negative 2, and we have a maximum point over here at 3.5. So the graph could look something like this. Here's our minimum point, and the y-coordinate the y does not have to be 1 there. Uh, it could be negative 4 or, or negative 7 or something like that. At 3.5, there's a local maximum point. So 3.5, there's a local maximum point. So I'll put my point here at 3.5. Uh, y-coordinate is something a little bit over 4. It doesn't have to be, though. It could be higher. And the graph is going from concave up to concave down. So the graph could look something like this. Concave up to the left of uh, negative 1, concave down to the right of negative 1, local minimum here, local maximum here. Now this point could not be higher than that point, or it wouldn't be possible to have it going from concave up to concave down. I could have this point lower, okay, but I couldn't be above this point because it couldn't be a local minimum point here and this point being higher than that one. And uh, this point here could be higher, but it couldn't be a whole lot lower because I couldn't have it below uh, this point, or I wouldn't be able to go from here and still be going concave down and have a local maximum point right there. So that's uh, a possible sketch for our function.